Professor Göran Johansson, member of the committee of the Nobel Prize in Physics. What is this year's Physics Prize about? So this year's Physics Prize is about putting quantum mechanics, which we know from the subatomic world of, of electrons and, and subatomic particles, onto such a chip, electrical circuit on a chip. Okay. So you can study it on the chip. Yeah. Tell us a little bit more, why is this important? So because you can engineer the circuits on the chip, you have artificial engineerable atoms. Uh, so instead of having sort of only the, the natural atoms, you can explore new parameter regimes. You can increase the coupling between, for example, an atom and, and, and uh, uh, a cavity, if you like, because there are lots of theories about this. And then in, in this kind of systems, you can look at different aspects and, and check that quantum mechanics works. And why is this such a breakthrough discovery, would you say? So this, there were two breakthrough experiments performed in 1985 demonstrating that you can actually do these artificial atoms on chip. And since then, we had 40 years of development of many, many groups in the world, an ever-increasing number of groups, uh, exploring quantum physics on chip. And it's also been driven by, uh, by the, the quest for realizing a quantum computer. So that's, of course, something uh, that, that's been driving this effort as well. But today we don't have the quantum computer yet. Excellent. No, we, th there are small quantum computers, both made with this type of, of technology, but also with other, yeah, with this type of technology, but also with other uh, types of technologies. And, but they are not big enough, and they are not good enough to actually be useful yet. So what is this technology useful for today? Where can we find it in our everyday lives? So today you don't find it in your everyday life. But it's really a, 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 a discovery that opened up our understanding for how qu that quantum physics can appear also on, on this scale. I mean, you can actually see there are nine artificial atoms there. Do you do? You yeah, I see it. Yeah. yeah, you can show it to the camera. Yeah. So. Uh, yeah. Yeah. So that's on the, that uh, silvery surface there. And if you should tell us a little bit about the laureates, do you know them? Yes, I, I've met them, all three of them, and, and yeah, I work in the same field. Um, so, uh, yeah, John Clark, uh, he was uh, really surprised when, when Hans Ellegren uh, uh, phoned him. So you that, heard the call. You I heard the call, yes. yes. Uh, and it was really delightful to hear his surprise, and his, he was, of course, also very happy, yes. And tell us about them. Well, Who he, are they? He, I talked to him, and he, he, he is a friend of Brian Josephson, as he mentioned. So he really, uh, I mean, this connects to, to that, the, the prize uh, uh, to Brian Josephson in 1973. Uh, and uh, yeah, I think that's, a, yeah, it's really an interesting connection. And the other two laureates? Who uh, are they? Michel Devery. So he is a Frenchman. So he uh, got his PhD uh, from in Paris. Then he joined Saclay, uh, what we today call CR Saclay, uh, outside of Paris. And uh, uh, so there, after this uh, 85 breakthrough experiments, he started a group that really made efforts on, uh, yeah, he really developed this type of quantum physics uh, in electronic circuits. And then and that, we have John M. Martinez. And John Martinez, so he spent time at NIST in Boulder, um, and then he moved to Santa Barbara. And maybe you heard that he also led uh, a group at Google uh, developing a quantum computer. But all this happened in the mid 80s. Uh, these these, uh, these experiments breakthrough experiments yeah. happened in the, in the 80s. And exactly. why now? Why the price now? I think that now it's clear that we, this really inspired so much work and it opened up our horizons so much that it's, it's really for the, yeah, for the best of mankind. And finally, if you would explain this prize in 30 seconds, what would you say? I would say that this really brings 
the quantum physics from the subatomic world onto this chip. So I think that's it. Thank you so much for explaining this to us.